Okay, Shankar, let's proceed ahead with your uh, SNAP for industrial engineering, targeting the MTech admissions in various IITs for uh, industrial engineering and operation research courses. Uh, Shankar, uh, tell me which part of industrial engineering you are comfortable in. Sir, I'm very comfortable in inventory, supply chain related. Uh, supply chain is exactly not part of our curriculum in BTEC, but inventory is part of it. Inventory is topic which we cover in industry First, and also please, part of please define what is the inventory what do you understand by inventory sir inventory is a uh, stock or pile uh, compilation of some products finished or semi finished or raw material to full to make the uh, manufacturing co continuous okay how many types of inventory do you have? So there are three types of inventory. Raw material inventory, semi-finished and finished inventory. Which one is the most critical to handle? So finished inventory is most critical because it is most valuable in term of money also. And finished inventory is uh, costly to store because uh, it affect our budgets of company or mm. manufacturing it. Achha, inventory is a good thing or a bad thing? Sir, inventory, if we talk about the idle condition, mm. for example, if companies fall in just in time, then inventory is not good at all because it will increase the cost. But in some countries which are not fully developed like India or some other countries in South Asia, where transportation is not very good and supply chains are not that much reliable like Japan. So here inventory is a good thing to run the plant continuously. During COVID lockdown, inventory ne kya role play kya? Sir, inventory played a very crucial role for maintaining the supply of medical equipment, medicines and vaccines also. Okay. So can you tell me now something about ABC analysis? Sir, ABC is an analysis uh, which used to control uh, control the inventory uh, in which we define the inventory in three parts, A, B, C. Uh, because 80% uh, of the inventory just cost 10 to 20% of the total cost. Only 5% inventory cost 75% around and rest 15% uh, related to 15% cost. So any company try to manufacture the 5% of total product by himself to be reliant on themselves for 100%. And some uh, non-essential inventory type like uh, stationery, nut bolt, uh, and some other short items which are not very uh, we can say not very difficult to find in the market for that company outsource them. They depend on different companies or different vendors. And they are some less reliable, uh, medium kind of inventory for which company either license production or outsource them. They so, make technology and outsource it to different vendors. Out of A, B and C items, in which item we should go for just in time? A, B, C, which for which we go for just in time. Just in time. So actually, I'm not very sure about to, for which we go. Because sir, some part, because the most essential part is developed by the company, manufactured by the company itself. So it is not related to just in time. And okay, some- so do you think A type is pre prepared by company? Yes, sir. A items which are prepared by company. 100%. Of the total product, sir. Okay, uh, what is 80 20 rule? Sorry, 80 20 rule. I think this is the same rule for which 20% uh, material cost, 80% of the total budget, and 80% material cost only 20%. And what is Pareto analysis? So Pareto analysis is also related to this, sir. Mm. 
अच्छा नोट टेल मी हाउ डेटा साइंस इज रिवोल्यूशनाइजिंग द इन्वेंटरी मॅनेजमेंट सर सर एज वी नो डेटा इज द ऑइल न्यू ऑइल एंड वी कॅन प्रिडिक्ट द फ्युचर विथ गुड डेटा सो इट इज व्हेरी गुड टू नो द फ्युचर इन इन्वेंटरी सो दॅट we can prepare for any disruption in the supply chain and how forecasting is related to inventory forecasting is prior to inventory because we plan our inventory according to our supply or our demand our products demand in the market if we know it then we can easily assist the eob economical order quantity and other things okay now can you tell me what is reorder point or lead time sir uh, when we order anything from vendor it will take some time so we have to order it from some time before actually we are vanishing our uh, previous inventory okay and how much is how do we estimate that sir reorder it is depend upon the sir how much time it take from the vendors and our uh, consumption of inventory rate of consumption of inventory so have you heard about erp yes sir erp enterprise resource planning mrp Most material resource planning yes yeah, uh, sir i heard about it during the chapter related to lean manufacturing and and other things but i am not clear clear of it what is lean manufacturing sir it is a type of manufacturing in which we try to remove the hurdles or bottlenecks in the inventory in the manufacturing process and we want to make the product in one go or we can say complete assembly line in one one go so we get product finished product in shortest time have you heard about six sigma yes sir what is that sir uh, six sigma is uh, related to the errors or defects in the product uh, it comes from the sir standard normal distribution in which uh, uh, when we talk about six sigma there are only few i think five or something product in per million product is only defective so how do you define economic order quantities sir it is the order which uh, economic order quantity is order which any firm or company give to the vendor to make its overall cost minimum and how do you calculate it sir uh, formula is under root 2 annual uh, inventory d order cost divided by carrying cost mm. okay can you give some example of uh, carrying cost so carrying cost is maybe rent of warehouse something related to this thing mm. which any idea what, what is direct and indirect cost yes sir direct cost is related to components or spares which are directly to be part of the final product and indirect cost is which are not part of final product but essential to manufacture the product like electricity bill rent of place labor etc so you must have done in a transportation model vogel approximation method yes sir that works on opportunity cost yes sir can you tell me what is opportunity cost sir uh, opportunity cost is uh, vogel approximation method also called as penalty method it is work both way mm-hmm. uh, opportunity cost is something which we are losing if we not following that path mm-hmm. we have opportunity to earn this in case of uh, if we are earning profit or in case of cost we can decrease the cost if we follow that path and otherwise we can get that penalty or we can lose that money shankar can you tell me what is degeneracy sir degeneracy 
when we have multiple optimal solutions i think no multiple optimal solution means you have optimal solution not a problem but what is degeneracy sir actually uh, in transportation problem to have a optimal solution we have uh, m plus n minus 1 allocations if we have this allocations and one of uh sorry uh, i just need a moment sir sir if opportunity cost is zero in m plus n minus 1 allocation then we can say and all other cost are negative and one is zero then we can say degeneracy in transportation problems okay okay shankar let me give you the feedback shankar dekho level your level in industrial engineering is good though we started with inventory or usi ke upar humne work out kiya but uh, we can go for some more questions on uh, industrial engineering as a whole we can go for that to inventory ke upar aapne kiya lekin abc analysis aapko dhang se nahi aata tha aap usko pareto analysis ka mix kar rahe the 80 20 rule ke sath uh, annual budget kya hota hai sir uski full form sir abc ki nahi a item b item and c items ko full na- naam nahi hai uska वो आइटम्स को एबीसी बोलते हैं बस बेसिकली इसका जो अक्रोनिम बना है ऑलवेज बेटर कंट्रोल से बना है ना वो सर ऑलवेज बेटर कंट्रोल के नाम से बना दिया लेकिन ए आइटम होती है बी आइटम होती है सी आइटम होती है नो ए आइटम इज द कॉस्टलीएस्ट एंड यू शुड ट्राई बिकॉज मैक्सिम इन्वेंट्री कॉस्ट इज इन्वॉल्व इन ए आइटम ओके इन परचेज ऑल्सो एंड इन कंट्रोल ऑल्सो मैनेजमेंट ऑल्सो क्रिटिकल मैनेजमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ए आइटम वेरी कॉस्टली so okay. you should try to minimize it and just in time ho jaye to nothing like that for it these uh, cheap items you can keep it with you not a problem because usme management nahi chahiye zyada aur na zyada paisa involve hoga to c item you can keep as inventory so if somebody ask you abc mein se inventory minimum kis mein chahiye a mein okay so that is very costly you have to spend money for that yes, just imagine ghar mein hum jab sabun leke aate hain to ek sabun thodi laate hain pure 2 mahine ka stock leke aate hain sabun ka सोप यस सर पर घर में लैपटॉप या टीवी कितने होते हैं जितने यूज कर रहे हैं अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो ए आइटम इज कॉस्टली आइटम एंड इट शुड बी एज फॉर द रिक्वायरमेंट और जब चाहे तभी ले लें जैसे घर में कई बार क्या होता है कि आपको कोई चीज चाहिए वो आप रेंट पे ले आते हो परचेज नहीं करते बिकॉज इट इज वेरी कॉस्टली टू मेंटेन इट ये चीज होता है so you need to uh, basically think of that to so, kuch uh, learning karna hai abhi aapko is cheez mein just in time ka concept abc analysis ka concept pareto analysis 80 20 rule thoda sa uske concepts weak hain aapke aur uh, jo forecasting or uh, inventory mein data science ka kya role hai data science will help you to predict uh, demand in future forecasting and that forecasting eventually helps in inventory inventory is a necessary evil you need to have it especially we saw in the covid time that yes, inventory yes. saved you know some businesses they were having stock and then they could yes, sell yes. it and uh, meet the requirements that is how you have to understand shankar right yes sir 